Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to Betting This For You TV. I hope you are having a great Sunday and we are back again here to give you some exclusive tips on Sunday football. So uh, in our show we will start with the double provided by our expert here at Betting This For You TV at quarter and also a bet of the day. We will then go on to our uh, Premier League expert Robbie Billund that will provide us a double and a bet of the day on the Premier League Sunday. And last but not least, we are heading to Mainland Europe where our local Italian and Spanish expert Luca Semproni will provide tips for uh, uh, those two leagues on uh, Sunday. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website on a Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Better This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bed sleep. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change so make sure you double check them before betting. So let's start with uh, our double uh, and uh, the double uh, starts with uh, the first selection which is uh, under 2.5 goals in uh, Liverpool v Fulham. So for Liverpool, I mean, what we can say is it's been a disastrous season. They have lost five at home uh, so far, uh, five consecutive matches at home so far, and they look really uh, down in confidence. This match against Fulham is not going to be easy. I mean, Fulham have uh, a good defence. Uh, they've been uh, very, very tight in recent weeks. Uh, they made it difficult to teams like Tottenham we've seen in midweek. Uh, and they're definitely adding to Anfield, hoping to get at least a point against the Liverpool side that uh, you know are, are you know bleeding at the moment. So Liverpool have scored just two goals in the last seven at Anfield. And once again, they were defeated in midweek by Chelsea, and they are in a big crisis. They're not going to retain the title anymore, and they're looking uh, uh, more and more. Uh, likely to miss out also on the Champions League. So we do expect, though, that uh, that you know Jurgen Klopp will push his men to actually show some spirit, show some character, and get back to winning ways. But we expect a tight match. Fulham are unbeaten in the last seven uh, away from home, uh, and have, uh, in which they have had six draws. So they also have uh, the cottages have their own problems to win games and to score goals. So we do expect this match that uh, is going to be a close affair and they will finish with under 2.5 goals. So probably Liverpool will score at some point, but even if they score one or two, um, you know, we will still be safe in that term. So that's the first selection of our uh, Sunday double. The second one is the draw in the big derby, big La Liga derby between Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. So Atletico has been the informal side of this season. The Simeone's men have started in great form. They have Suarez uh, that has been scoring goals, um, you know, for fun and. Uh, I mean, they uh, they look like very likely to win the the title, but but in recent weeks things have started to crumble a little bit. They've lost against Chelsea in the Champions League, and also they've um, they've dropped they, they they actually dropped quite a lot of points in the in the La Liga as well. With Real Madrid and Barcelona, they are chasing uh, closely. So. Although uh, Atletico Madrid was uh, uh, was back to winning ways against Villarreal in the last match, before that they went uh, uh, without a win in the all in three matches in all competitions. They do remain the best defense in La Liga. So with Real Madrid that have several uh, problems in terms of uh, injuries, we do expect that uh, Atletico Madrid will be able to keep compact. And uh, after all, you know Real Madrid is their bigger rival and also is the um, uh, it's you know it, they are behind at the moment in the table, so a draw will actually do for them. And with Real Madrid, that have several injuries. Uh, I mean, Benzema should be back, but still, you know, it's not clear how we'll be back and in what form. Uh, we we expect this to be a quite tight affair. Real Madrid didn't look great in the last match. They drew 1-1 against Real Sociedad on Monday night. So they're currently third in the table. And uh, um, we, a draw will also, for uh, Zinedine's man, will allow them to keep, in a way, 
the the title um, the title uh, race uh, live. So we do expect uh, a draw here. Uh, it will probably go the best result for both teams, and it pays really well in terms of odds. So this is our second selection. So our double return is nicely a nice and healthy six to one, which means if you bet ten pounds, you will get back sixty three, which you know is a very good way of uh, um, having your uh, Sunday fixed. Let's now move to the bet of the day for Sunday and our expert have picked uh, draw Liverpool half time full time at 16 to 5. So we are backing at the draw at half time and then we're backing the Liverpool will win the match against Fulham. So uh, as, I, as we said before, we do expect the cottages to make it hard for Liverpool. Liverpool are not in good form, they have problem in attack, they have scored only twice in the last seven matches. And, uh, but on the other hand, you know, we do not expect Fulham to win this match. They've been shaky, they have, they have problems to score goals themselves, and in fact, they've only won twice away from home. So despite Liverpool form at Anfield has been terrible with the last, with, you know, with five defeats in the last five matches, something unthinkable just a few months ago, we still expect uh, Liverpool to control this match. And, uh, but the first half could be blocked. Uh, Fulham are really good to keep things tight at the back. And with Liverpool, they will be, you know, they're playing at the moment with low confidence. We don't think they will actually risk too much in the first half. In the second half, however, Liverpool desperation could actually start to come through. And also, Fulham might start to feel a little bit of fatigue. They, have, uh, they haven't got depth in squad that like the big clubs in the Premier League. So, we do expect Liverpool quality to make the difference. And uh, so, therefore, there is good value in backing Liverpool to win this match. After all, they won against Sheffield United before losing to Chelsea. So, they look like they're still working against teams that are towards the bottom of the table. So we expect uh, Liverpool to win this match eventually, probably with just one goal. So we're going for, uh, this is our bet of the day, is draw at half time and Liverpool to win at the end of the match against Fulham. Now let's uh, move to our uh, Premier League expert, Robbie Bielund, who will provide us a double for Sunday and also bet on the day on the Premier League. I can see that Robin is ready. So Robin, that's over to you. Hi, everyone. It's uh, more football ahead of us. We have a super Sunday with uh, some amazing games, uh, some very important games. But of course also the standout fixture, which is uh, Manchester City against Manchester United, the Manchester Derby. And um, it's fair to say uh, at this point that the title, the challenge that could be from any team below it's all over Manchester City. They have won the Premier League title, but it's not mathematically uh, in place yet. And they will have to keep pile those wins. And of course, they want to beat the record of those wins in a row. Uh, when they host Manchester United on Sunday, they can go 17 points clear. And I'm quite confident they will do so. Uh, for uh, Sunday, we've looked into combining one double and also to pick out the best bet of the day. And in the double, we just go as uh, outright winners, Manchester City to beat Manchester United. Uh, we do know about United's record against the big six, how they just want to sit those games out. The nil-nil results is all they come for. Uh, for. But uh, with a Manchester City team that, that, that could be happy with the nil-nil, but at the same time as they really want to pile those wins to break the record, uh, they will find a way to win this, I'm quite certain. So in the double, we start with City to beat Manchester United. And we combine that with Spurs against Crystal Palace. Spurs, they looked... Um, Amazing, actually, last weekend against Burnley, uh, Mourinho let the team be attacking, offensive, balanced. But when uh, they travel to Fulham in midweek, of course, maybe it's a lot of games. We all know that the fatigue, they uh, didn't come up to the same pace, but they should have done better. At the same time, I 
think they are on their way to find something here. Uh, Kane and Son could have scored many more uh, than they did. And uh, even though Fulham maybe should have had a goal as well, I, I think uh, Spurs was the better team, at least um, really good in the first 45 minutes. So I think they will beat Crystal Palace as well. And uh, to add some value here, we think they'll do that with at least two goals. So Spurs at a minus one handicap uh, against Crystal Palace. And we combine that in the double with um, City beating Manchester United. The best bet, however, uh, for Sunday is under 2.5 goals in the Manchester Derby. As we mentioned, Manchester United, they have five of their seven games against the big six this season have ended in uh, nil-nil uh, draws. Uh, then they had a nil-one uh, loss against uh, Arsenal. And of course, the 1-6 blow against Spurs, but only one goal. That was a penalty from Bruno Fernandes. Uh, and... City will win. That's my point in this game. Absolutely. But I think it will be quite tight, quite tough. Manchester United want to play this out. Uh, they will go for that 0-0 result. Um, and in my world, probably a 1-0, 2-0 win for Manchester City in the end. But under 2.5 goals, that's some good value. You can more than double your money on that. And I think that's the best bet for Sunday. So... City to win and Spurs to win on a minus one. That's the double and under 2.5 goals in the derby. That's the best bet for Sunday. I wish you all the best of luck. Yeah, play it safe and take care. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope we can continue this fantastic winning trends uh, on the Premier League uh, betting. But now let's move on to Italy and let's go to mainline Europe. So to see what our local Italian and Spanish expert, Lucas Emproni, is suggesting uh, to bet uh, for us this Sunday. Lucas had great results in recent times on the goal scorer market, so let's hope we can get more wins from him. Luca, over to you. Ciao Simone, e come sempre benvenuti e benvenuti a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betting Tips for You. Oggi vi proponiamo una tripla con due partite del campionato italiano e una del campionato spagnolo e oramai, come al solito, come di consueto, una scommessa singola su un marcatore. Partiamo dalla tripla. La prima partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Verona-Milan, gol di entrambi. Il Verona viene da due vittorie, eh, due pareggi e una sconfitta nelle ultime cinque e in particolare nell'ultima giornata ha vinto agevolmente 3-0 a Benevento. Complimenti agli uomini di Juric perché stanno facendo veramente un grandissimo campionato. Juric che si ripete dopo il campionato scorso. Bravi veramente. Il Milan invece nelle ultime 5 ha ottenuto eh, un pareggio, due vittorie e due sconfitte. Viene dall'1-1 in casa con l'Udinese ottenuto addirittura al 97 minuto. In precedenza aveva ottenuto una brillante vittoria in casa della Roma 2-1. Non è un Milan però che sta convincendo moltissimo in questo periodo. Quindi ci aspettiamo Verona-Milan, gol di entrambe. La seconda partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Fiorentina-Parma 1. La Fiorentina ha ottenuto, ha subito eh, nelle ultime 5 4 sconfitte e ha ottenuto una sola vittoria. Nell'ultima partita, nella partita infrasettimanale, ha perso per 2-1 contro la Roma. È veramente la partita dell'appello per la Fiorentina, partita salvezza, deve vincere. Il Parma viene da due pareggi nelle ultime due partite e precedentemente aveva, per aveva perso tre partite, quindi nelle ultime cinque due pareggi, tre sconfitte. Anche qui un campionato ampiamente deludente da parte del, del Parma. E ci aspettiamo però l'uno perché ci aspettiamo che la Fiorentina veramente reagisca e vinca la partita. L'ultima partita per la tripla è Atletico Real Madrid gol di entrambe grandissima partita questa non serve dirlo derby di eh, Madrid quest'anno ci arriva davanti l'Atletico e sta facendo veramente un po' capirato e sembra essersi ripreso dopo un periodo ultimamente di appannamento perché l'Atletico viene da due vittorie due pareggi e una sconfitta nelle ultime cinque e, e nell'ultima partita ha vinto convincendo 2-0 a Villarreal il Real invece eh, ha ottenuto un pareggio nell'ultima partita, 1-1 in casa con il Real Sociedad, partita brutta. Prima di questa aveva ottenuto 4 vittorie di fila. Deve eh, vincere per inseguire ecco, l'Atletico Madrid e per coltivare 
eh, un minimo di speranze per la vittoria della, della Liga. Ci aspettiamo quindi anche qui una eh, bella partita e scommettiamo su gol di entrambi. Quindi ricapitolando la tripla E, Verona Mila gol di entrambi, At- eh, Fiorentina Parma 1 e Atletico Real gol di entrambi. Concludiamo con la scommessa singola, col marcatore singolo, che questa settimana è Dusan Vlaovic in Fiorentina Parma. Ci aspettiamo il suo gol, abbiamo già parlato di lui altre volte, 9 gol quest'anno e un assist per un giocatore di 21 anni, molto giovane, che però comunque si sta eh, facendo rispettare in questo campionato, osservato da tantissime squadre, tra queste sembra, una di queste sembra la Roma. Quindi, eh, ricapitolando, scommessa singola, marcatore Vlaovic in Fiorentina Parma. Di ricordarvi come al solito di giocare responsabilmente, auguro buon calcio a tutti e ridate la linea Simone. Thank you very much Luca and let's hope that we can win more bets uh, on the Serie A and the Spanish La Liga. So that concludes our uh, Sunday show. There is a lot of football going on, great games, great games once again to look forward to. I mean the Manchester Derby is just one. And um, uh, so we really hope that you're going to enjoy all those football and also that you have great luck with your bets. But most importantly, always remember to gamble responsibly. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Betting This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bet slip. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites. You will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change, so make sure you double check them before betting.